pretty unfortunate that there aren't thousands of videos on the internet to do these calculators justice. There are a few videos out there, really good ones actually, but not nearly enough in my opinion. Anyways, on my left hand side is the HP 49G, as you can see here, and this is the TI-89 Titanium. Under normal circumstances, the direct comparison for this one would be the TI-89, the original 89, with, uh, not the Titanium, which came out before this one actually in 1997 i believe or 1998 i'm not too i'm not too sure about that okay so what i've noticed that i've noticed that uh i've noticed a pattern hp tend to see what ti does and then uh they try to do uh something better than ti okay so this is pretty much the same software uh that you are going to find in the 49g plus the 48g2 or gii and the 50G, okay? So, HP decided to uh, go with uh, a different uh, design when it comes to software, even uh, they keep uh, the buttons, they decided to go with a completely di uh, different uh, design. Uh, so, yeah, and I'm actually uh, in love with this right now. I'm, 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 re I'm, really, I'm really liking the keys and everything here. So, this was a con controversy, apparently, uh, so I read some articles online, a lot of people were not happy with the fact that HP went with a rubber, uh, with a rubber keys instead of uh, the reg regular uh, uh, plastic keys, I guess. But I actually, <laughs> I actually tend, I actually like this one a lot better. Not better, a lot better than what they have done with uh, the 49G Plus or even the 50G. I like the feel of this. And the person who sold me this actually told me that he didn't like it. You know, he likes a. Uh, uh, the keys on the 50G better. But yeah, everything has, uh, I mean, everyone has their uh, their preference when it comes to, you know, how something looks and how it feels. But this is by far my favorite HP calculator, believe it or not. The only thing I wish was different about this calculator is going to be the speed. I just wish it would have been a little bit faster, you know, but in 1999, you know, plus these manufacturers were not really making a lot of money and they still aren't making a lot of money with this calculator so I kind of understand you know even though it has a really low uh, clock frequency it's only clock at 4 megahertz and uh, the processor in here is a Saturn or Saturn processor clock at 4 megahertz but it is no slouch don't get me wrong it, it is, I mean compared to new calculators it is much slower but even by today's standard it can still kick some asses you know <laughs> anyways I unfortunately don't have a TI-89 to compare to, so I got the next best thing instead, the 89 Titanium, okay? So let's go ahead and uh, do a quick side comparison. As you can see, they are about the same size, even the display, even though they uh, display the LCD on the TI may look bigger, it's really not. I actually tend to prefer the uh, display on HP calculators than TI. Because, like I said, TI, Texas Instrument, just doesn't care about customers that much. You know, it's just, uh, I'm, uh, I'm going to go into detail in a little bit. So, yeah, this video is probably going to get long. Uh, if I have to guess, I'm probably going to say at least 20 minutes. Because every time I say my video is going to be 10 minutes, 15 minutes, it, 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 it you know, I go well over the estimate, the the, my estimation. But anyways, let's just go ahead and get into it. So, when it comes to the ports, this one has only one port and i don't even have the cable for this to connect it to a computer it's probably gonna give me a hard time because this is not modern technology and the ti has a mini usb mini usb port and an io port as well and you can use both of these ports to connect it to a computer to transfer data with either of this cable you know and happen to have each of these two cable laying around but unfortunately i don't have anything for for this one so if I need to transfer something from a computer to this, so I'm out of luck. And with today's computer, I'm pretty sure it's gonna give me some huge problems, you know. So I guess I'm just gonna I'm just gonna I'm just gonna be stuck with the software here, which is not a bad thing. The software is not a bad thing. Like I said, the software is uh, pretty much identical to the software on a HP 50G, because that's what most people know about. You know, uh, a lot of people don't know about the. 49G plus, I, I think that might be a lie because anyone who owns a 50G probably knows something about HP calculators. So yeah, that could be a lie. But anyways, this is by far my favorite HP calculator. I just liked everything about it. The color, I love the color. 
I love how it feels. It is really dense, you know, it's really solid, it's well built. I like the feel much better than the feel of a 49G Plus, which I own. And hopefully I would be getting a 50G soon. Okay. So yeah, let's go and, and, and start both up. So I noticed that the HP, this thing boots up really fast. It even boots up fast, slightly faster than the 49G Plus that I have. Okay. And uh, even though it is a, uh, a really slow uh, processor we're well, not a really slow processor but even though the clock the uh, frequency the uh, the clock frequency is really low for megahertz only he browses through the uh, uh the user interface much faster than the 89 titanium not even the regular 89 but the titanium as you can see uh some things take time like if you haven't used the calculator in a while uh you know pretty much all the time the catalog uh, takes uh, about three seconds to pull up and that's kind of unfortunate, but it is what it is on the tier. It is pretty much instant. But as you can see, if I am go, if I wanted to browse through the catalog on the TI, you see, I'm pressing it down, and it takes a while to you know to start scrolling. But on the HP, it's pretty much instant. As you can see, it is really fast. Okay, but uh, yeah, the UI navigation is uh, much uh, is well not much, but it is it is faster than on the TI in my opinion and even the 3d graph is also better on here which I'm going to uh, show you in a little bit okay so first thing first uh, they both have an app the TI when you first uh, get it then uh, you are going to be presented to this screen right here so it's got different your uh, different uh, applications not much you know there really isn't anything here that you're gonna be using a lot because you can do pretty much everything you want uh, using just uh, key combinations uh, the only time you you would want to come here is probably uh, for those who are not in uh, programming I don't even see why you would want to come here for those who don't even care about apps on your calculators They're probably never gonna be uh, using the app. You know, maybe if you want to you want to do some matrix You know, you can do that easily here by creating the rows and whatnot So I really don't see myself using uh, the uh, app side of the 89 a lot you know, I the only time I come here is to write programs, and I don't even write. I don't even write programs on here. I usually write programs on the Voyage, and depending on how you make the program, the, the anything you write on the Voyage, you can make it work on the 89 as well. You know, because the Voyage has uh, a keyboard, keyboards, and uh, it just makes sense to write program on this. Writing programs on a character, it just doesn't make sense. It's just so annoying. It's really, really annoying. You know trying to figure out how the keys you know tapping just one word can take like can take can take 20 to 30 seconds just one word so it doesn't really make sense to write program on here but some people do it you know really complex one wouldn't make any sense you know unless you have a computer and uh, you have uh, an emulation program on the computer then you can write programs but yeah so that is that so beside that you know they have a uh, graphing calculators a lot of graphing calculators look alike as you can see you have your functions keys up top on the HP is uh, six function keys and on the TI is only five okay so I keep repeating myself when I say that this is pretty much identical when it comes to the letter to its uh, successors the three uh, is three successors the 49 G plus the 48 G2 and the 50 G they pretty much have not only they have the same software their hardware is almost identical as well even the key placements are like by 90 to 95 percent uh, identical you know except for you know uh, uh for instance on the 40 ag or uh, the 40 the 40 uh the the, the 40 ag2 the 50g the equation router uh requires you to press uh, the uh right shift key and then uh the press this key so here it's pretty much instant you see so they did some swapping when it comes to the uh keys so that's the only thing I noticed about it but beside that all the key placements are pretty much where you would find them you see if you are looking for let's see uh, if you are looking for the catalog here instead of it being here uh, on the 49 G it's probably just gonna be over here you know and you probably you probably gonna have, need to press uh, the shift key to access it so even the keys are you, you know the, the, the keys are pretty uh, similar for the most part so I say this to say that <laughs> I say that to say this if you had this in 1999 when it first came out and 10 years after you wanted to upgrade to a 50g the 50g uh is not going to be a new territory for you you know you can you, you're gonna uh, figure everything out pretty 
pretty quickly you know the difference between these and the 50g is just you know slightly different key placement the 50g is going to be a lot faster obviously and uh this screen is also going to be uh, slightly bigger you know uh you get like two extra lines on your stack uh what i mean by two extra lines is that let's say if i was in mode and i go to flags so instead of uh seeing a one two three four five six seven line seven lines of options here i would see nine instead of seven and the same goes for the app if I were to go to app, instead of seeing 1 through 7, I would see 1 through 9. So you get two extra lines. Even on the stack, it's uh, the same story. So two extra lines is really huge when it comes to calculator, you know. And uh, you probably won't take, you, you, you probably won't appreciate it until you, until you start using it. Okay. So anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and show you really quick. I already show you what the catalogs look like on both. And uh, this is what the uh, uh, menu or the settings on the TI looks like. Again, I reiterate texas instrument really doesn't care that much about the customers because this thing the screen on this thing is uh i don't want to call it a joke but it's definitely it definitely leaves to be desired for the same amount of money you could have gotten yourself a much much nicer calculator you know and uh you you get stuck you are stuck with this font size it's really tiny it is really tiny even the display quality on here is not as good as the display on here as you can see for yourself the things on here is much much more legible than uh, the stuff on the ti as you can see and you can even adjust the font we are gonna see that in a little bit but uh, you can see here your menu or your mode is uh divided into three different pages so f1 for page two through f3 as you can see three pages so you can either press f2 to access the second page or you, from f1 you can just scroll down and it will take you to the second page you will never know whether you are which page you are on though so yeah you're just gonna have to you know to figure it out yourself but as you can see this is your mod here and nothing impressive yeah, you can do 3d graph on both calculator primary i mean parametric uh, polar functions you, I mean, you can do everything here okay so let me go out of here and uh your angle you have degree region and gradient so you have those three options and uh yeah that's about it pretty print is just uh to display your uh expressions in algebraic mode i mean not, not algebraic mode textbook mode okay so that is that and uh before i even forget the huge difference between these two calculators is the fact that the hp he is uh the hp has a rpn reverse polish notation which is a really good thing when it comes to certain things it makes a uh, certain operations a lot faster you know it makes a certain tax really fast you don't have to go through a lot of hassle you know with R rpm is just uh once you know how to use rpm it's really convenient you you, you probably you, you probably never want to go back to algebraic again and uh, i'm actually loving it i don't use this thing in algebraic mode because that takes uh that takes the fun out of it you know and uh that's also one of the reasons why hp calculators are never going to uh take over the uh, school market because HP really hasn't made their calculator uh, for students. If you ask me, they were more uh, they were made more for engineers rather than students. So that's probably why TI Texas Instruments is always gonna be uh, the leader when it comes to the school market worldwide. You know, and TI knows this, and uh, they take advantage of that advantage. <laughs> what am I even saying? Yeah. So TI knows this, so they. They can do pretty much whatever they want by not giving us you know new features uh the first ti inspire that came out in 2006 when it comes to the software is pretty much identical than uh the current generation of inspire so 2006 2022 that's what that's like wow that's 18 years and nothing has changed in 18 years so i don't know I just think that for the money, you know, you can, uh, you, for the same amount of money, you can just get yourself something a lot nicer, depending on what you want to use the calculator for. Don't get me wrong, their software is great. Their software is really great. There are times that it is actually much better than the, the HP when it comes to uh, simplifying certain expressions, you know. But uh, yeah, enough of that. And uh, I think I said uh, the Inspire 2006, 2022. That's 16 years. It's not 18 years. But anyways, for 16 years, we've had pretty much the same software. And uh, don't get fooled with the color display. It's, uh, just, uh, looks, it just looks nice. But the display size on the TI is a joke for the price. In my opinion, the display size is a joke. 
true like truly it is a joke and uh yeah the software has not changed much either it's just uh the key place the keyboard is just uh they just made uh, the keyboards uh, a lot more complicated so if you're coming from this to uh if you're switching from this to an inspire i mean it's gonna be really different like day and night but when it comes to the software experience you know they can do pretty much uh, the same uh uh the they have uh they, for the most part they have the same uh, simplification uh uh algorithm so you're not gonna be disappointed okay so enough of the rent uh now let me go ahead and uh i actually need to get out of here bro oh boy it's almost two i gotta get okay so i'm gonna try to wrap this up in three minutes uh i think i've already said enough so with uh, the TI, so yeah, so that's what you get. And also something before I forget, the TI does not have an, an undo feature. So let's say I, uh, I did something and I just erased this by mistake. I cannot undo it. But on the HP, if I did this and uh, I cleared it by mistake, I can just do undo and uh, it will, uh oh. Okay, that's not what I meant. So let's say I have this, I put on the stack ah okay this is in the rpm mode let's see four on the stack let's say i delete four off of my stack and i want to put it back i can just press this and undo and it's going to put it back here for me the ti does not have that and uh, i actually use this a lot you know i use this a lot so it's unfortunate the texture instrument doesn't have that but uh, it's a really neat feature and for reason for some reason ti also i mean hp also removed that feature from uh, the hp prime <laughs> You know, companies that just, just just do certain stuff that don't make sense, in my opinion, sometimes. Okay, so another thing is, uh, you know, solving equations of both is possible. You know, polynomial, they can solve by anything, any expression. And uh, But when it comes to simplifying expressions, the 89 titanium or the regular 89 is much better than the HP. Like, much better day and night. You know, when it comes to simplifying stuff, the TI just wins over HP all day long. At least this HP model. But the prime is, you know, the prime is is on par with the TI. It's, it's about on par. But when when it comes to simplifications, like simplifying like algebraic expressions, I like I will go with the TI text instrument any day long. Okay, so they all have a, uh, you know, they they all have features that the other one doesn't have. That's that's to be expected. But uh, okay, so I showed you what the uh, mod on the TI looks like. Now the mod on the HP. As you can see, it's got a lot of options. So HP has something called flags. So flags are system uh, uh, options that you can change. So these options are gonna stay there, whether, even if you uh, uh, restart the calculator. So everything is gonna stay un unchanged here. And uh, it's not a total of 128. Some people say 128, but it's not 128 options. So as you can see from uh, three, they skip all the way to 14. I don't know why they did that. Or it could be 128, maybe some, uh, some remaining uh, options are you know hidden somewhere else but i doubt it i truly doubt it but i'm just telling you what my eyes are seeing right now it's not 128 options okay i'm seeing less than that even less than 100 maybe 80 options or 90 options something like that so flags let you do some adjustment okay so when you are uh <clears throat> when you are coming from like uh maybe uh, a 48 g 48 uh, sx uh you're gonna be used to the soft menu here and uh, you can change that to the box so hp gives you the option to change the menu from soft to box so right now i'm in soft menu if i go back to my okay i turned off by mistake if i go back to home and uh, let's say i want to put this on a stack and uh, i want to uh, x to x square if i want to put this on a stack 2x square minus 2x 2x uh, multiply 2x square minus 2x if i want to do something with this let's say i want to solve it or, or I'm, i don't want to do anything with it but just uh, an example so if i press this as you can see all my options are at the bottom here so that's called soft menu but i can change that to make it a window menu so to do that i can just go back to mod and flag and scroll all the way down then so i can easily access 117 instead of soft it's going to say boxes so i press ok ok here and uh, if i press uh symbolic or same then uh, as you can see i will be presented this box menu here okay but uh this you if you get this calculator you probably want to use it in uh, the soft menu option because that's just a lot faster to access your stuff and uh it's just uh, really convenient in my opinion 
okay so i'm gonna go back up and do box here really quick okay so i think i'm gonna have to cut this video short because i really have something some, somewhere to be like i say my videos are not scripted so i just you know it is what it is okay so let's see what else what else what else what else what else okay so the mods so the hp gives you more options you have uh, the key clicks you know you have the beeping when you are doing something illegal on the calculator you know it beeps and uh this is the biggest thing rpn right now i'm using rpn i never want to do algebraic again on this calculator because rpm is rpn is just too much fun okay and uh this is the fraction uh i think use comma as fraction mark yeah that's what it says here and it gives you some a, a little nice description and uh, if you go to the cas the computer algebra system then uh, you have some more things here and this will show you step of uh, maybe de uh, derivative i think i've never tested it before but i think that's what it does that's what the manual says and uh let's see uh just pause the video and see this for yourself uh, this is the uh, independent variable by default it is set to x so when you're doing the solving it's gonna solve for x by yourself uh, by itself you can change this to y but i suggest you leave it as is because as you might forget <laughs> and it's gonna make it a mess or it's gonna give you a hard time and if you go to display you can even change the fonts you have three options to choose from and the system browse probably suggests that you can get uh different fonts off off of the internet and you know and textbook is uh use pretty print in, in the stack so that's gonna show you things uh that's gonna show you things that the way you would see in a book okay so there is that so yeah so when it comes to the mod so that's what you get with the hp and they all have 3d graph i'm probably gonna make a part of this video i'm out if you have any question put it in the comment section please thank you